No. No. Chris, no. We're not having this. Chris, we are not having this. I'm sorry. No. Chris, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We are not having this. Um, Chris, you made a big deal of the massive transfer package. Most best contracts in football and so forth. You you flexed it after you went to Bel United and in Qatar. I think it's what is this was zero goals in knockouts? So you flex that you are inside Arabia right now, 200 mil contracts, best paid player in the world, and so forth. Stick it out. Last time we saw Cristiano, he was trying to say what's up to Stone Cold. <laughs> he said to Stone Cold, The Rock, um, Macho Man, and Ravishing Recruit, eh, I didn't know who that was, and Stink, and Rob Stein. He said to all those dudes that um, hold my, my beer hold my beer because he developed a, a new finishing move <clears throat> well, that's a new finishing move you know he was trying to audition for the wwf no one calls the wwe only dope only losers like you only losers like you who went through college wwe he was auditioning for the wwf the world wrestling federation okay guys can we be, can we keep things a stack is it let me see for me i've been way too too nice you see, I'll be like, you know, like, I've got to be like, you know, I'm mature, you know, you know, I've got to be, and I cut the crap. You see, for me, like, I can't be, be fake. I've been, I've been trying to be, okay, guys, let me, I've been trying to be, be, be fake. I've been trying to be like, you know, let me, you know, look at both sides, you know, for and against. I mean, no, it's time for that old age. It's time for that old age. Cristiano Ronaldo, if you leave Saudi Arabia, where the hell are you going to go to? You are not relevant as a football player anymore. As a model, underwear model, movie star, Instagram merchant. Let's ride. Let's ride. As a footballer on a football pitch, you are not relevant anymore. You are not. And I am trying to speak to these Cristiano fans out there. Guys, what do you I mean? What what is this? I thought we're football fans. So, because, see, if you're just fans of an individual and you defend him no matter what, you're a moron. I'll say it again. This will probably get downvoted. They will get thumbs down, but I think people need to hear this. You see, Messi gives you a reason as to why you should still roll with him. Because it's like, I'm going to give you a footballing moment. I'm still going to show you for bowling moments. And as you saw in that World Cup, because at that World Cup, that was a mess at his best. Mess at his best was 24, 4, 14. 2020, 20, 2014, that was Messi at his best. Or 2018, we don't know what happened. So it was not Messi at his best. But even if it was not him at his best, he still was able to conjure just a little bit of magic to say what's up. So he's still giving you footballing reasons to still roll with him. Christian Ronaldo, you don't have to give anybody footballing reasons. Guys, I've, Chris, I've seen your clips in Saudi Arabia. You're not the best player in that league. And I've seen the losses. You're out of how many cup competitions and, and, and so forth. The moment you've arrived, all I see is Al Nassar out, 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 out. So you've had probably like a negative effect on the freaking team. Because the best thing to do, and a Christian, you need to hear this to me because I'm speaking to you right now as a friend. As a friend. I'm speaking to you as a friend. Listen when I talk. Cristiano, your legacy is set. You've done the kind of legacy. You were a World Cup flop. But it is what it is. No one is prepared. You flopped at the World Cup. Zero knockouts, goals, and you never ever made any impact at any World War Cup. The best you did was that hat trick against Spain. One free kick. One penalty. And one which was it was about about the, the here. But it is what it is. Not all hat tricks are amazing. So you're a World Cup flop, but your club legacy is untarnished. Now, Haaland could break that UCL record, but it's what it is. <laughs> so forth. So until Haaland breaks your records, your club legacy is, is, is its quality. What is what what's it there to, to, to play for? Because let's keep it real. This is about ego. You don't need the money. You don't need the money. You didn't need that money in Saudi Arabia. That's this Saudi Arabia move was feed, it was about feeding your ego. 
The move to Saudi Arabia was about feeding your ego because everybody knows that you are extremely egotistical. Everybody has an ego. Everyone does. Messy name, everyone does. But you are a particularly egotistical individual. And you moving to Saudi Arabia was to say, hey, Messi can win the World Cup, but can he get as much money as me? Because this is what, what I don't want. What I don't want is a scenario where it seems in Saudi Arabia offers Messi a 500 piece. <laughs> Yearly. Because if that happens, Cristiano is checking into rehab. If Messi gets offered a 500 piece or a 400 piece, therefore more than Cristiano, Cristiano is checking into rehab. Because then it's like, I, I can't beat this dude. He beats me footballing wise. He beats me monetary wise. The hell? <laughs> so, so, so now it's going to be 24 7 underwear model. Because for Cristiano, what are you doing? Cristiano, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I and I, guys, I'm calling you out. Those fans, I you're sad. You're sad because you are a sad individual. If all you do is just support an individual, no matter what he does, you support him. He doesn't care about you. He doesn't know you. He freaking uses you. The only time he went on Insta Live to talk to you, so-called fans, was when that particular case in Las Vegas broke. Remember that, remember that whole Las, Las Vegas case? That was the last time he was in life talking to you fans. So do you think he really cares about you guys? He uses you and uses your blind fanship. Because my thing to you fans and so forth, follow for ball and follow the next guy. Christian, he's in the past. He's done. He is no longer relevant footballing wise. He is, his relevance is finished. And people say, and I know what you guys are going to see in the comments. Oh my gosh, if he's finished, if he's so irrelevant, why do you keep talking about him for clicks and so forth? I say this because I acknowledge what he's done in the game. Club wise, international wise, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a flop. He's an international flop. Club wise, he's a legend. So there is nothing anyone can say that club wise, he is a footballing legend. This is a footballing channel. And Cristiano Ronaldo's club career is one of the most legendary club careers in the football game. So me, as a football content creator, so I have to acknowledge what this guy has done club-wise. It is outstanding. So me acknowledging that and looking at what he's doing right now, my advice to him is retire. You've got nothing else to offer this, this game. There is no top tier team who will even look at you once. Forget about twice. No top team is signing you. Nobody will want any part of you. First of all, nobody wants the drama you're going to bring. And nobody has any use for you as a footballer. No one does. The game has moved on. The game has moved on. The game has moved on. So, my thing to all these fanboys and so forth, stop being losers. <laughs> This is going to an ash. Stop being losers. Because if you're defending what he's doing in Saudi Arabia and still trying to prep him up and you're still posting videos of his goals in Saudi Arabia, you're being a loser. So this is not me being... See, it's called tough love. I'm not here to insult you. I'm just here to... I'm, I'm giving you tough love. Stop being losers. Ignore him. Acknowledge what he's done. And start following the next big thing in football. Start looking at football moving forward. Now, if all you are is a Christian fan and, and, and nothing else, I want no parts of you. You see, I sp I'll speak to football fans. As football fans, we have our guys. I've got my Hazard, I've got my Mbappe, my Robin, and, and, and so forth. You know, I've, <laughs> I've got my, my guys. But as much as I have my guys, I'm also following football. So, but if all you are is a Christian fan, not really a football fan, then you're, you're, as a human being, you're useless. I'm being real. And this goes to guys who blindly follow a Beyonce, a Kim Kardashian, and so forth, because you should have more self-respect to care more about your life than obsessing over the life of somebody who is a thousand times richer than you and is, is living in a thousand times better means than you. So you're a loser if you obsess over everything that they do and feel the need to defend everything they do, you're a loser. <laughs> you're a freaking loser. I'm sorry. You're a loser. So my advice to you is worry about your life. Care about your life. You're important.
and focus on that and stop posting clips of what this guy is doing in freaking Saudi Arabia. Cristiano Ronaldo, retire. Hang up your boots. You couldn't do it internationally if you flopped. You're not no. You are not freezing yourself for 2026. Stop it. Stop it. You are not freezing yourself. You are not call me. You will not be in 2026. That's not happening. Okay. You are not going because if you're in 2026, I'm saying call call the ambulance because this guy could, could, could collapse on, on on the pitch. Say I say yo, call the ambulance. Just retire. Retire, bro. Retire. Hit the website, official website, halffootballhot.com up there. I'll see you guys on the other one.